Wow, all dinos. What's this? Don't do that. Do this. Imagine a cereal. What's up everyone, Sag here, and today I am going to be showing you a full dino build. So the cockpit actually uh, issued this challenge in one of his videos probably a couple weeks back. I'm finally getting through all of the old footage, by the way. This should be the last of the pre-patch stuff, and then we can finally move on and start doing only, only post-patch things. But today we have this uh, cockpit issued this challenge, and I was like, oh, it sounds pretty cool. So I, I downloaded his pack or imported it or whatever from his video, and uh, I decided to try it out. I actually was going to do this live, but this was like my first attempt, and I was I was just getting a feel for the pack because it was a bit different than what I normally do. So I was like, well, I'll get a feel for the pack and then uh, see how the challenge goes because I'm pretty sure he said it was decently hard, uh, but this was my first try. So, um, yeah, I guess I got, I, I would say I got decently lucky, especially here in the beginning getting an Emperor Tamarin and a, a Starfish. Bicell, of course, was still really strong. And Emperor Tamarin, I think, is probably one of the best ways to do this. Our our builds are very, very similar in the way that we went about it. So there's only, I think, like six uh, dinosaurs, if I'm not mistaken. We have T-Rex, we have Velociraptor, uh, Stegosaurus, Spinosaurus, Triceratops, and there's one more, but it's eluding me. I think it's another tier six. I think it's Sauropod, if I'm not mistaken. It has to be. Um, so our builds are very, very similar, and especially the way we went about it, too. I think we both got big Emperor Tamarins and then swapped the stats onto a dinosaur. I was really hoping to swap my stats onto Triceratops because that is the best dinosaur that actually like works with something. Um, but it turned out to be something else. It, I, in the end, clearly it didn't matter that much. Uh, and then, of course, you can always use Stegosaurus to, to make them big. So... The, the goal of this, of course, is to end the game with five different dinosaurs, just seeing what you can do, and it was really fun. I, I had a really good time. I honestly thought it would be much harder. Every time that I had thought about it before, like doing a, an only dinosaur challenge, I thought it'd be basically impossible. I also believed in my mind that Dodo was a dinosaur. Some people consider it a dinosaur, but some people don't. Um, clearly Cockpit did not consider it a dinosaur, he, he considers it more of a bird, which I understand it is like a flightless bird, um, but let's be real, most dinosaurs were birds, but, but we won't get too much into that. Let's get into this game though, I'm very fortunate to get a Caterpillar, Caterpillar is of course inc incredibly strong, um, even now post-patch, I mean, it, you just get so much from it, I'm... I'm very happy that they actually nerfed it to tier 4, because even at tier 4, it's still very good. And I think the same way about Turtle as well. I think both of them um, are very happy now at tier 4. It, I think it's uh, overall a lot more healthy for the game, because before you could get a Caterpillar so incredibly early, imagine getting a Caterpillar on turn 3, and then you have a level 3 Caterpillar on like turn 8 or something, and it wouldn't be turn 8, it would be turn 7 get one on turn seven level three caterpillar that's insane you just double up immediately so right now i think it's still in a good spot i'm glad that they did that uh, because as you can see here i basically keep the the caterpillar the entire time up until the point where i get my last dinosaur in um so the game plan i think i talked about it a little bit but it was basically get a big tamarin swap those stats onto a dinosaur and then just find the rest of the dinosaurs uh, that's about all you can really do I was also surprised, I felt like in this game, a lot of my enemies' teams were incredibly weak. Like, I wasn't really doing anything each turn, I was mostly donkey rolling for more Emperor Tamarins, because of course Emperor Tamarin is insane, like, absolutely nutty. And then here on turn 9, we have a 50% chance of getting a dinosaur, and that dinosaur we get is Spinosaurus, which is incredibly strong. Um, it's not... It's not crazy with a full dinosaur build, but it'll definitely do the trick. And maybe I should have uh, leveled up the Cappy before I swap the stats onto the, the Spino, but I thought, regardless, I'm going to keep Spino the entire game. It doesn't matter. Spino's still really strong. If I get a level 2, even better. And here we're able to find the Triceratops. So, of course, that's what we were looking for here on turn 9. 
and then all we're gonna do is basically just try to live until we can get to turn 11 to find some of the other dinosaurs. Uh, one of those dinosaurs, specifically Velociraptor, works incredibly well. You get coconut armor to something. Coconut armor, super strong. There ain't nothing you can do about it, brother. So we are going to try to do that, and then whatever unit Stego is going to buff, which is going to be our Triceratops, because Triceratops has the only, like, real ability throughout all of the, the dinos. Like, the only ability that matters with stats. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to... Place a strawberry on that bad boy, make him as big as possible, give him coconut armor, and he's basically going to carry the team for us. Yeah, we get, a, we get a husky in here just to get a couple extra stats on the Spino and um, Triceratops, so it doesn't matter too much for me, just as long as we can get some kind of stats in there. Uh, I was looking a little bit for a pill so we could pill Eagle, again, 50% chance of getting something, but never really end up finding it. Instead, we... See a Stego here on turn 11, which is exactly what you want to see. I am very surprised that Stego uh, was able to survive the nerf. Like this, just, we didn't see it at all in this patch. I was super surprised because I think Stego is one of the strongest units in the game. Um, maybe they didn't nerf it because of pack 3. Pack 3 is kind of weak, I'll say. Um, especially compared to pack 1 and 2. So maybe they didn't nerf it specifically for that reason. They still want pack three to be able to do something. Um, so maybe that's why. But I still think it could have been nerfed. I think it's incredibly strong. And I think one day we will definitely see it nerfed. I don't know how exactly because it's kind of odd. Like the, the wording uh, for it. Because it's based on turn timer. Um, so no matter what, it's a scaling unit. The longer the game goes on, the better it becomes. So I don't know what they're going to do about it, but I'd really like to see. Um, also, speaking of Segasaurus, at the end of this, we since this was my first try, we don't actually have more footage. But I, do, I did find a really, really old video. This was probably from a month or two ago, um, deep within the recesses of my computer, where I had a full Stegosaurus team. So we're going to show that at the end. That'll be really funny. Uh, just shows you how powerful it is. And here we get our final dinosaur in, which is going to be Velociraptor. Clearly, we have not seen a single Sauropod, so I can't get Sauropod in. But hopefully next turn... Oh, wait, no, this could actually be the last turn. If it's not, though, next turn I will find the Strawberry, and hopefully that Strawberry uh, will win us the game, because clearly it's going to give us a Coconut. And here we actually tie, which is pretty good. I, I wanted to tie. There we go. We get the Strawberry immediately, just like I wanted. And honestly, the team is cracked. It's going to be really, really hard to lose. The dinosaurs are all very, very strong. Of course, they're all tier 5 and tier 6, so what do you expect? But here we go. Almost 50-50 on this uh, Triceratops. It's going to be very hard for them to do anything here. He could have popped my coconut too. But I don't think it would have mattered. I'm so strong. Doesn't even make it past my Triceratops. Um, but yep. Look at that, super easy. I really had a lot of fun. Check out Cockpit's video. I'll link that all in the description. And here is the final Mega Stegosaurus build. But thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And you know what? Have a wonderful day.